Good morning, squad. Welcome back to another episode of season four here. This time from the side of the road up to Crystal, there's this little lookout called Mather something, but it's kind of cool because you see, I always have a, a thing for like rivers in the winter time to see like the running water, uh, even though it's freezing outside, has always been pretty cool to me growing up on a lake, but uh, some frozen waterfalls around as well. So just a, a pretty cool setting. Unfortunately, our visibility is gone today. I think we were spoiled yesterday with how uh, amazing it was. But because I only explored such a little bit of Crystal, I did decide to stick around, made a total sort of game time decision last night. Up the road to Crystal, and we'll see what we can get into today. It seems like the visibility is actually getting better. The clouds are still prevalent, but there seems to be some good visibility, so it looks like stuff's cleared up. Might get another second day of some pretty good good uh, skiing here. So the plan today is to check out the Northway chair. So kind of the chair on the other side of the mountain. I just felt like yesterday I literally only skied one area here. And if I'm here, might as well make the most of it. My plans have kind of changed somewhat into BC. So I had a little bit extra time. So I took another day and I want to check out that other area. So I've changed up one thing with my breakfast this morning. I replaced the bacon with some sausage. I was unable to find turkey breakfast sausage though, which was kind of a bummer. So I went with pork, I think, but hash browns, some scrambies. And I've been using this like Tabasco sauce that's so spicy, but for some reason it's so good. So nice little start to the morning here, but I couldn't give up the hash browns. as clear as yesterday. The fact that you can still see Mount Rainier and some of the other uh, mountains of the Cascades is just incredible. So as I mentioned today, I think we're gonna explore the Northway, Northway chair. A little bit windy, a little bit colder, which I think will be good for the, uh, the snow, snow quality here. I guess we gotta just get down this stuff. First run of the day here. Like, if you see a skier in a blue Montec jacket. Am um, I in trouble? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Are you, are you the, like, YouTube guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Thanks. This is a big area, this Northway Bowl. Um, and there's literally, it feels like no one out here. I haven't seen another person on the chair or on the runs. 
So there's a lot to this area, um, lots of different um, slope facing aspects. So snow is going to be different everywhere. So we're going to take it a little bit easy here because there's definitely some gnarly terrain yet again. But uh, it's going to have fun, kind of see what's right underneath this the lift for now and then build on it from there. So little little winds, little runs, and then work our way up. This here. What is this rope doing here? Okay, looks like we gotta go down. God. Oh God. Oh. Oh, that's a rock. Yeah, that's a nice little rock. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Nice. Sun, sunshine. Dude, I have no idea where I'm going. Are you trying to come down here or did you ski? No, I'm trying to ski this area, but like, I don't know, like. It's small, but at the same time, like one small turn will take you a completely different like universe out here. You're like, oh, where, where is it? Can you ski that horseshoe area? Oh, yeah, you can. I don't know. I haven't been out there for a while. I don't know how it's skiing right now. Nobody today has said that they've come down that way. I have no feedback, but yeah, there's a couple like entrance shoots to that that are like not too gnarly. And then how do you get like on this side of the chair? I, think I actually closed this off for today. Okay. It was like pretty icy yesterday. They had to do like a rescue to get somebody out of there, so they're like letting it. Okay. Soften out. Getting... Is it just like a boot pack? Yeah, That's so it's really like right short. when you get off the chair, it's to the right. Oh, it's before gate two even. Yes. Oh, I saw that. Okay, I'll try that. I, right. I honestly heard that was really good. Too. Okay, I'll try that then. Thanks, guys. Yeah, for sure. Well, there's gate two, and I think this is gate two and a half. It feels like an eerie day, like just no one is on the hill back here.
to see this whole shoe if I find it with the video game angle, which is very obnoxious to hold. Holy shit. I just kind of wanted to see what this area was like because it looks so crazy. And of course in the chair, this looks doable. Then you get on top of it and you're like, yeah, you would have to likely just jump in and go because there's just no way you can roll off this cornice. Oh, let's give it a shot. Drop. Oh my god, dude, you're so dumb. <laughs> Whatever. It's crazy how fast you get going in such a short amount of time. Woo! Great snow, though. Look at this. There's a lot of vertical. I almost think there's around 1,500 feet of vert um, on one lap. The chair is slow, but you know it makes sense with how much skiing you do off the chair. So um, tons of different options, tons of different um, sort of variation in skill level. I feel like you know if you are getting into advanced and expert terrain, there's a good you know there's some extreme stuff and then there's things that are a little bit less um less gnarly that might be better for people trying to get into stuff like this so it's a cool area um, again i you know as always as with any mountain or zone like on a pow day this would be awesome but so would so would anything so i think it's important to see how stuff skis when it's not like ideal conditions i'm honestly having a lot of fun kind of always ski to the conditions and again it's a lot you know i try and do uh to hurt myself or get killed out here being solo but uh sweet got to explore the area so now i'm gonna try to figure out how to get down i think there's some tree runs that might lead us down to the uh, parking lot so that'll be fun but i'm going to miss you crystal but more importantly mount rainier i'll be back i'm gonna make another pnw trip in august to rainier so
That's sick.